The overall goal of this procedure is to generate organotypic raft cultures from primary keratinocytes or established epithelial cell lines. This is accomplished by first making fibroblast collagen plugs. Next, epithelial cells are layered on top of the plugs. The plugs are then moved to the raft grids and maintained at an air-liquid interface for 10 to 14 days. In the final step, the rafts are harvested. Ultimately, changes in epithelial differentiation can be evaluated by histological or immunohistochemical analysis. Though this method can provide insight into epithelial differentiation, it can also be applied to other systems, such as viruses that infect the cutaneous or mucosal epithelium as part of their life cycle. Demonstrating the procedure will be Dan Anneker, a graduate student in my laboratory. First, pour chromic sulfuric acid into a glass beaker and immerse the metal raft grids in the acid for one hour. Then, continuously rinse the grids overnight with tap water. After the overnight rinse, rinse the grids for another three to five hours in double distilled water. Let the raft grids dry, then bend three sides of the raft about 0.5 centimeters at equal distance from each other. Autoclave the raft grids. After preparing the collagen gel, trypsinize the J2 fibroblasts and then neutralize the trypsin with medium. Transfer the fibroblasts into a 50 milliliter conical vial and count the cells to determine the number of rafts that can be made. Then, after spinning down the cells for 4 minutes at 244 times G at room temperature, aspirate the medium.